Today we're going to go through the process of growing potatoes in containers. And it's really a pretty easy process and it's fun to do. Um, first thing I want to do is uh, I want to learn about the potato itself so we know what we're doing. Is uh, A potato actually has a top and a bottom. The bottom is called the heel, the top is called the crown. And on a potato at the top you're going to see eyes. And these eyes are going to form a chit. And a chit is actually a new potato plant that comes from the potato. Let me show you the potato itself. Here's one I'm growing that you can see. This is the, the bottom, the, the heel. And you can actually see where the mother plant root was coming into this potato. And it left what I call like a little belly button. You can see right there, so you know that this is the heel. This would be the crown, the top. And you can see the new little chits coming out of these eyes. That's how you want to put, set it in. You're going to plant it chits up. Okay? When they go to the store, you want to buy seed potatoes. And you get them from a local seed store or you can order them from a catalog. You don't want to go to the grocery store and just buy plain old potatoes because they they coat their potatoes with a chemical to retard the growth of these chits so they can get some more shelf life in the grocery store. So you want to get seed potatoes that will actually sprout those chits as fast as possible. And the way to get them to sprout is I set them in egg cartons and I set them near a window so I can get some light and you're going to probably hear, if you talk to 10 people, you're going to get hear 10 different ways to chit your potatoes. So I'm just telling you the way I do it. I put it near the light. I put the, the um, crown up and I label all of my cartons of what type of potatoes I have. So I don't get them mixed up in the containers outside because I want to have um, whole containers of all the same type. I'm using Yukon Gold. Pontiac Red and Kennebec White. Now, these um, these things will take about four to six weeks to chit. So be patient with it and let it do its thing. And as soon as these chits get about three quarters inch tall, we'll go outside and cut them up and take it to the next step. Okay, our tater's been sitting for about four weeks and they're chitting, so we're at the next step. Take a look at these. Here's the Pontiac Reds. You see how they've chitted out. Here's the Yukon Golds. And here's the Kennebec Whites. They've all uh, merged with some beautiful sprouts. So we're, we're at the next step at this point. What I want to do is I want to take the potato and you can see I got nice three quarter inch long chits coming out of the seed potato. And now I want to divide this tape, this potato up. So you got you know, about one to two um, chits on each piece. Let me show you how I'm going to do that. You want to leave a little meat on that tater so it's got something to feed on while it's growing out there for you. There you go. Now see what I've done is I've divided this potato up so now I can get three more plantings instead of just putting the whole potato in the ground. And I'll take some uh, cardboard boxes and I'll label them so I don't get them mixed up. Now these are my Pontiac Reds. So I take these and I'm gonna put them in here and I'm gonna let them sit. See how wet the inside of that potato is. That's a good thing. But what we got to do is let this area right here, it's got to scab over, heal, or cure, whatever you want to call it. This right here has to be um, close to rough surface like this, because if I put this in the ground wet like this, it'll just rot. So we want to let this cure before we put it out. And I've got it in the cardboard boxes so that it won't stick to each other. I need to come in here during the week and kind of move them around a little bit each day. Make sure they're not touching and sticking to each other or, or they'll, this right here will turn into sugar 
and it sticks together and you have to break it apart. So keep your eye on it. Let me finish getting these cut up. Okay, I got all my seed potatoes cut up. I got them in the boxes so they can cure. And I'll put these out in the garage in kind of a dark place. And uh, Nancy would be glad to get them out of the living room, but that's the life of an urban homestead, right? <laughs> Well, all our cut to, uh, potatoes have healed and cured. So uh, I'll show you one. Here's one right here. Remember last week we cut these up and caught, we kept, captured a couple of eyes in the cut and then the inside of it has healed. You can see it's nice and dry. There's, there's no starch or water coming out of this. It's healed over. So when we plant these potato seeds in the ground with the chits up, and uh, they'll be ready to go. All right, I'm gonna mix up my, uh, my blend of uh, pot and soil that I'm gonna use in the buckets for our potatoes. And what I like to use is peat moss, a combination of peat moss, this organic pot and soil, and some black cow, cow manure. I use it about three e even, equal parts. And I'll blend it all together in the wheelbarrow and I'll fill our buckets up to where there's at least about six inches in the bottom of that bucket and then we'll put our seeds in. Okay, I got my, uh, my pot and mix all blended together, ready to go. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about the buckets themselves. If you look down here, you can see that I've, uh, I've got a couple of landscape timbers. There used to be a flower bed that I stole from Nancy and she, she blessed it this morning, so I guess I can use it. So um, what I'm gonna use those two rails on there for is to support my buckets. And what I have are 20 gallon buckets and I mark on the buckets what kind of potatoes I'm putting in there because I wanna make sure all my buckets have the same seed in it. So when I harvest it, I can separate out the three different types of taters. Now this is a 20 gallon container and it's a pretty heavy duty container and you wanna make it sure it's heavy duty because this is gonna get heavy as it fills up and what I do on the inside is I drill some three quarter inch holes pretty evenly spaced out so that I get a real good drainage through here you definitely don't want your taters sitting in saturation because it'll cause them to rot so I got all my buckets together I've got them set up on the rails so they've they're lifted up off the ground so it gives plenty of opportunity for that water to to uh, seep through after I water them or when it rains. So now the next step is, is I'm gonna fill the bottom of these buckets at least six inches deep. So when I put my seeds in, they're separated from the bottom of that bucket and it gives them plenty of room for root growth. Let's get that in first. I'm about six inches deep. Okay, I got my, uh, my little taters, my little starters, and I'm gonna put them in the bucket. Kinda evenly space them out. Chits up, don't forget. That's kinda important. And that's about it. You see the little pattern that I made? That gives them plenty of room to grow without crowding each other. Let me get the rest of these put in and then we'll cover them. If you'll come and look right here, you'll see how deep I just put those in. At about six inches in, I put the tater in, and then I put at least another four or five inches on top of it. I don't want any daylight coming down through this. I want it to be good and dark, and them snuggled in with all that goodness. Let me finish covering them up. Okay, we got all our taters into buckets. They're planted in. I'm gonna water them in lightly. Just remember, you wanna keep your potatoes 
You want to keep them watered and moist. You don't want them to be saturated. They like water, but they don't like to stand in water, okay? And that's very important. Well, let me get this watered in, and then we're going to step over to our other tater table, and I'm going to show you another method to, to grow potatoes in containers. All right, this is our other tater table. It holds, it'll, it'll accommodate uh, four 20 gallon buckets. I've got room down here for the sweet potatoes later. So uh, right now, another way to do this is you get the potato, the seed potato, and you let it chit just like you did the other ones. And when they're chitted, you don't need to cut them up. At this point, when they're chitted, I take it with the heel down, the chits up, the crown up, I go up to my, whoops, go to my bucket, and I got it filled up the same as I did the other one. It's about six inches underneath there. And I put them little babies right on in there. Oops. Okay. Then I'll cover that with about four or five more inches. Same as I did the other one. Now water it in lightly. And we'll have us uh, some french fries pretty soon. Really appreciate you joining us today on our tater journey. And uh, if you like our channel, um, our YouTube channel, I ask you to go ahead and subscribe. We've got a lot of new videos coming out. You might really like them. So always remember, by his hands, hands, we are, we are fed. fed. Give it us, Lord, Lord, our daily bread. bread. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching our videos. We really love making them. If you like our videos, please like our Facebook page to get the latest tips and tricks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the newest video. Like it. It would really inspire and encourage us. But most importantly, share it to encourage others. We'll welcome your comments and questions. Thank you. Have a blessed day.